Hey, what's up? This is Hunter Nelson with Tortoise and Hare Software, and today we're going to talk, be talking a little bit about the benchmarking report in Google Analytics and how that can help you get a better understanding of how your competitors are uh, driving their website traffic and how their website is performing in the marketplace. Um, so I'll pop over here to our screen capture, and um, first I'll actually start off here by a uh, getting you to pop over to your um, just little home report here and flop that to the last 28 days and take a look at the number of sessions you have and uh, we've got uh, 1600 sessions over the past 28 days um, so divided by 28 and so we're at a 57 average daily sessions um, rate so Keep that number in mind for whatever your average daily sessions is. And then we'll come over here to the audience report and look under benchmarking here and then channels. <coughs> so I've swapped my date range to um, year to date, so January to July 6th. Um, but you can you know check this like first quarter of the year, second quarter of the year, like basically any date range you want and understand kind of benchmarks um, within your industry. The next thing you want to do after you've kind of set your date range is to set your industry vertical. Um, so I've already come in here and put it in the uh, all marketing um, vertical and then I've updated my location over here to targeting all regions in the United States, regions being states. Um, and then made sure that um, my average daily sessions is in the appropriate benchmark range here. So 0 to 99 is the one that's appropriate here. Um, just uh, be aware too that um, this benchmarking report is going to take samples from all the websites reporting in this range. So you know we're at 57 average daily sessions so naturally um, websites that uh, fall in like the 98 daily sessions range are going to naturally have more traffic and potentially some um, other better metrics just because they're a little bit further along. Um, so just understand kind of where you're at within the uh, slotting that you choose here and how that can impact this report. So we see here that there's also 447 web party properties contributing to this benchmark. Um, so that's like a high enough number where you know it's meaningful. If this is like three, then you know that's your. You might want to choose a broader industry vertical, or some other adjust your, uh, you know, criteria otherwise. Um, so um, over here on the left hand side, we've got kind of the uh, the channels um, that are participating in the um, benchmarking report and. You know, you can kind of see um, some other um, information here on the acquisition and behavior metrics. Um, so, like, you want to also consider kind of like what your strategy is in relation to your website when looking at this report. So, one thing that's kind of really important for Tortoise and Hare is organic search and paid search. So, we focus um, pretty heavily on those two channels. Um, and social being kind of a you know a secondary um, one, so um, you can see that we're pretty good. Um, we're only thirteen percent below the um, the benchmark here, and considering we're in the midway point of the um, the zero to ninety nine slotting. That's actually, we're probably slightly ahead of the pack here, um, and then driving a lot of new traffic pretty much all across the board, um, but uh, still doing better than other channels um, with the uh, paid search and the organic search. Um, one thing that kind of really stuck out to me when I looked at this before, A, we're, we're kind of killing it on bounce rate, so like people are liking the initial kind of landing page that they see. Um, but they're having a lower bit, uh, lower pages per session in a lot of different areas. So we want to extend some of those like more engaged visits to two to three, four pages, and kind of keep them. And uh, we're missing some information there that tells me you know people like the initial design. They're not bouncing immediately, 
but we're not getting those like longer tail sessions that can be like real high, high duration that tend to drive up these like average pages per session. Um, another kind of thing that uh, stuck stuck out here um, is that we're like almost you know 100% below baseline on email marketing. Um, so we only had 74 sessions come in this year from email, whereas our benchmark group is 1,045. Now, the all marketing industry, there's probably going to be email marketing companies um, included within that, and they're you know m much more likely to have a high volume of their traffic coming from email because that's their business, whereas we're more focused on like search. Um, so you know, got to understand kind of the characteristics of the business when looking at this report and. Um, you know, like make sure that you're winning in the channels that you kind of want to own, make sure that you're performing well in the channels that you kind of want to own, because realistically no business is going to be great at all of these things. Um, but I definitely think after looking at this, there's a little bit more room to improve. Um, kind of conversely on the email side, you know, we have a higher pages per session, lower bounce rate than benchmarks, um, higher average session duration. So. We're sending our emails to a small list, but that list is engaged in in terms of like engagement um, compared to other uh, industry competitors. Is that we're actually doing better in terms of sending relevant, engaging emails. Um, so kind of pros and cons there, but yeah. Anyways, so I won't go into too much more detail than that, but uh, that's the Google Analytics uh, benchmark report. Um, again, this report's a really good way to kind of understand some of the competitive behaviors in the marketplace. If you're, if you haven't really developed your strategy yet, it's also a good way to kind of like look at um, your website to get a feel for like what other competitors are doing. Like marketing is a very unique vertical in terms of looking at this like benchmarking report. Um, if you have a, a non-marketing business, IT company, SaaS company, uh, cybersecurity company. Home builder, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, this this report can be a lot more meaningful in terms of what's uh, driving or what companies are using to like drive uh, their traffic within the um, the set, uh, particular industry vertical. It can also help you identify gaps because just because like a lot of people aren't using email, for instance, doesn't mean that there aren't people interested in getting emails. It just means that the uh, people in the industry aren't focused on that particular channel. Um, so definitely a good way to help you develop strategy, see where you're at in relation to competitors, and just get more visibility into what's going on in the marketplace. Uh, so hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're going to be creating all sorts of new um, marketing related content here on the Tortoise and Hare Software YouTube channel. So uh, subscribe and uh, give us a follow. Let us know if you have any comments or questions in the comments uh, section below. and. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching.